Slave City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby coming at you on a beautiful Friday afternoon in Chicago. I'm loving the comments. Before the video even starts, my boy uh, Cooper the Great just sat in his chair with a beer. The weekend has officially started. My boy Daniel M, best food channel anywhere right here, right now, right here, right now. My boy Milwaukee Brewers in the house. My boy Stangman's here. I see Char Troyer's here. So we're outside. We're going to spend the whole live stream outside. It took a little bit of an effort to get everything out here. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but we're going to make a great menu. Of course, it's Fridays with Flav. It's sponsored by Thrive Market. We got the beautiful promo code down below. Uh, Rose is taking a nap right over there right now now the menu tonight is going to be great but before i do that i want to pull up the live stream here and i want you to leave comments down below let us know where in the world you are watching from today hey let us know what you're making for dinner say hello to art good afternoon everybody art in the house i love this setup here it's really nice and scenic here good lighting um we're gonna make these beautiful grass-fed tasmanian new york strip sticks we're gonna put a heavy salt and pepper crust on them uh, and we're gonna grill them. Then I have all these beautiful items here to make risotto, but not typical rice risotto. You guys know I love this Trader Joe's risoni made with organic chickpea and red lentil flour. Why do I love it? Because it's a nutrient dense substitute to uh, rice. It's made with organic legumes. Why are organic legumes important? Because conventional ones score high in glyphosate and you cook it just like uh, risotto. I bought the most beautiful wild mushroom sampler pack here. Look at these gorgeous mushrooms. I believe there's mayatake in the middle, some uh, enokis on the side, and we're going to cook it all in the best broth in the land, bone broth. Normally you want to have it warm. I have my portable burner here today, so we're going to have it like Kind of room temperature because I don't have two burners to warm it up with, but it don't matter. That's what's going on. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, Pompano Beach in the house. We got Papua New Guinea from the Pacific Ocean. Waivro Yahida in the house. Love to hear it. If it's Fridays with Flav, like I said, Thrive Market sponsors it. You know I love sponsor uh, Thrive Market. I know you guys love Thrive Market now. So anything you would normally get at the grocery store, like I was at Whole Foods today, I was at uh, Aldi the other day, you can get up to 30% cheaper on Thrive Market. I put their grass-fed uh, collagen peptides in my tea every morning. They have a great substitute and cheaper version of uh, Siete grain-free tortillas. Um, fantastic stuff. The box comes to your door and uh, the promo code, even though they don't have to give us one because they're so busy right now, is down below. You get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up with my link. If you don't like Thrive Market, you cancel, get your annual membership feedback, but you keep the $20 shopping credit, but I think you're going to love it. What I you mean, got just her? got a super chat from Amber L, $1.49 and a unicorn. Ooh, I love that. I haven't seen Thank that, you, Amber. that uh, unicorn before, Amby. Thank you so much. So the first thing I want to do is just salt and pepper my steaks and let them sit. Now, I have a question for you guys. I think we talked about this the other day. These are pretty thick steaks, and they're from that company, the Flav City Fan Started called Shepherd Meats. Once again, look at them, Art. You're never going to find a grass-fed steak superior to this because, in my opinion, it's from Tasmania, Australia, which has the purest ecosystem in the world, and it's grass-fed and it's beautiful. I have to find out what they age. I want to say it's wet age, but i got to find out for how long. I'm just going to salt and pepper this. Now, my question to you is, a steak this thick, would you rather keep it out room temperature 30 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes? If you have to choose the two. 30 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes? Because you want it to come to run room temperature before you cook it. But which one would you rather do? Ben Parkholtz in the house, I must say. Guten Abend, nice. Deutschland. Nice. And Carsto, $13.99 Canadian dollars. Love okay, it. Bobby, you got me. I'm hooked on your channel. Thanks for all you do. Love, thank, thank you, Carsto. Carsto. That's what we do. We like, we like people to get hooked on us. We like people to get a healthy addiction of Flav City. So we're saying 30 minutes, hour 30, 30, hour 30, 30. Wow. It's back and forth. Look at this. Hour 30. All hour, day. All day, every day. <laughs> no. All right, what would you do? 30 or an hour 30? I would go an hour. Hour, hour 30, right? No, the, the question was 30 or hour 30? I don't know what the question was, but <laughs> an hour sounds good. Is it, do you think it's too long to leave your steak at room temperature for an hour 30? Room temperature in a cool room, no. Yes. So I, it's 100% safe because I don't if have a problem with any it. pathogens did happen might. to breed, yeah, we don't care about the USDA. They're way too stringent. And their, their policies of like temperature doneness is way off. Like for them, like medium 
is like uh, 130. It's like, it's, it's, uh, no, it's 150. It's totally crazy. Any pathogens or bacteria that form will get killed on a hot grill or a hot pan. They don't go to the middle of the steak. So we'll put a nice bit of salt, but not just on the top and bottom part. Look at this art. I have a good inch and a half here of sidewall. These are my rims, the rims of the steak. I want to season that with salt. And if it looks like a lot of salt, what will Art say to you? Wait, what's the question? If that looks like a lot of salt, what will you say to them, Art? I would say it's not a lot of salt. It's the right amount. It's the right. It really makes the beef taste beefier. And beef loves steak. Beef loves steak. That's the thing you need to know. It's one of my all-time best lines ever. Beef loves steak. It's going to be one of your all-time greatest t-shirts <laughs> ever, too. That's right. Hello to everybody who's wishing me hello. Art, right, go selfie style comments. real quick. Okay, say hello. I'll do that. Hey, everybody. Your cameraman over here. Cameraman Arthur T. Helmsley. Not the first. Right. Doing the Cubs thing, it's Friday. I've decided, like, Cubs Friday. Not the second, guess, the third. Maybe, but, yeah. It is Friday, which means rosé day. When is it not rosé day? When it's 85 degrees out. We'll pour some rosé. Art and I also have a little bit of... S. S, not S A. My it's boys S. at S said they're actually coming out with a sparkling version of this pretty soon. That so that'll be cool. So cheers, you guys. Another great week. Three live streams. We have two more videos this coming uh, weekend. So four total videos plus the three seven videos this week. La Chaim, cheers. Prost, Nestrovia, Nestrave. How about that? There we go. Slancha, salud, and finish. Kipish. Kipish. <laughs> no no ish at the end. <laughs> K-I-P-P-I-S. <laughs> I made it like Yiddish. <laughs> so steaks will just go to the side. Wild mushroom and pea risotto. I blanched the peas inside. And once again, I got these beautiful mushrooms. Do they tell me what the variety is here? Uh, we got... Oh, <coughs> which ones are these? Trumpet. No, these aren't trumpet. The trumpet. Mayataki Forest and Velvet Piopino. Now, this little eight ounce pack was $8 at uh, Whole Foods. I think it's worth it. Oh, Chartroyer, Jill Chopsky, where are they from? They're from that. your backyard, Michigan grown. How about that? So we're gonna cut these open. If you don't wanna splurge for these, get uh, baby portabella or bella mushrooms, baby bellas. Don't get white button mush mushrooms. They just don't have the flavor. And uh, baby bellas are just a little more expensive. They're totally worth it. But look at this. All right, get a close up on this shroom action. This is, you want to talk about flavor and funk? This is going to pair with our steak. So lovely because, first of all, we're going to cook these beautiful shrooms uh, down. We're going to add some onions and some garlic, our peas. We're going to cook this beautiful risotto made from organic chickpeas and lentils in a ton of really collagen rich bone broth. Umame, umame, paired with this steak. Can I get a high five on three? One, art, two, three, high five. Thank you. Okay, I have to preheat my pan. Let's make some room over here. This totally, I'll come, I'll bring it over here. This totally reminds me of like a Jamie Oliver video where he like cooks in the backyard seated. Although I'm pretty sure he does it a little more rustic not on, on his Ikea furniture like we're doing. Huh. Just push those aside. Oh, I'm also gonna make a heirloom tomato, cucumber, onion salad. Look at these heirloom tomatoes, Art. Look how beautiful they are. Are they tomacos? They're not tomacos like Homer Simpson was addicted to. No. Oh, Richard Marcotte. Oh my gosh, we got, we got Super Chat City here. Richard Marcotte, Marcotte, 499 from Care the DFW. It. Did you leave stuff in the house? I'm prepared for the drinking game. <laughs> um, the whole, Joke was, oh, so all right, tell everyone what we did to get everything out here and why well, we had to do it. So people have been asking, where's Rose? Rose is taking a nap. Rose's room is right over yeah, there. Yeah, she's taking a nap. That's the doorway to get to the house. We can't go through there when Rose is taking a nap. So we went around the house three times. <laughs> With sheet stuff. Yeah. So that you guys won't need to get Exactly. Uh, Richard, thank you. Jackie Haddam Spiegel. Such a generous Beautiful thanks lady. Thanks to all of your grocery hauls and your live videos where you're eating a paleo diet. Thanks for all you do, Bob. Thank you, Jackie. So this morning I went back to Whole Foods. I filmed another mini haul and we'll do the recipe on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, we're gonna make those grilled shrimp from last night with uh, that charred uh, blistered corn salad from 4th of July. I bought everything for that today. Did the haul video. Uh, tomorrow is a under the radar food haul. 
Sunday is that uh, Whole Foods haul with the uh, yogurt marinated chicken with the spaghetti and the uh, peanut sauce. Really lovely stuff. Hey, Bobby, uh, D Brown's on the house. He says, medium, please. I'll be there in 20. <laughs> D, D is in Chicago with a friend. I was going to have D come over, uh, but I didn't want too many people here just to social distance a little bit. But we're going to meet D tomorrow. So check this out. Art. I'm going to take these mushrooms. I'm not going to cut them too small. And I'm going to put them in there. Here's an important question from Oso El Siete. While Rose is taking her nap, can we ask Bobby, Bobby, where are your hands? <laughs> now smile. <laughs> Rachel Murray, $35, <laughs> cooking along with you tonight. Ribeyes, grilled prawns, and asparagus. You should have written asparagus, by the way. Rachel. Just left Whole Foods and the same mushrooms to make your pasta this weekend. Do you, I love it, Rachel. So, if you remember, I used these same mushrooms for one of my favorite and Desi's favorite recipes from the upcoming five ingredient cookbook. It's a uh, gluten-free tagliatelle with a wild mushroom and kale ragu. The mushrooms cook, kale goes in there, garlic goes in there, that jovial egg gluten-free pasta, Parmesan cheese, and a ton, I mean a ton, of the pasta cooking water makes for the most velvety sauce. It's a five ingredient masterpiece that I, I patted myself on the shoulder because it was just so darn good. Okay, so mushrooms go in. Now, trivia number two for the day. I would like to caramelize these mushrooms and get some nice color in there. Knowing that, should I pinch in a healthy amount of salt now or should I wait? Leave the answer down below and why. 740 lovely people are here. If you're just joining, welcome to hashtag Fridays with Flav. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. And here's to you, rosé all day. Have a great weekend. Maggie B in the house, Dangman's in the house, Adrian Torres, Amber Stover. I got it. Uh, the Jovial here. Pasta is either from Thrive Market Renee. or Whole Foods. So, Debbie says wait. Jen says wait, they'll get soggy. Kelly Weinstein, hey Kelly, wait, salt releases the water. Wait, you need to caramelize, says Carsto. Exactly right. Salt pulls out moisture. I don't want the moisture yet. I want to caramelize them. So, very, very correct. D Brown, D -Brown. please. What do you say? Two dollars. Please wish Danielle Bradford a happy birthday. Danielle, happy birthday to you. Happy uh, birthday, Danielle. Is that, are you at 21 today? Is he taking you to the big city to celebrate your 21st birthday? We'll see you tomorrow, my friend. Jackie Buckley's asking, when are you visiting Germany? I love your videos from oh, the man. spot in Germany. I would love to. I, I, I've been to Munich and Berlin. I had a great time in both places. And a super chat from Mercy. Mercy. $10 number for the one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Uh, let's see. Wally from Phoenix is in the house. Uh, let's see here. Ha, Frankie says you're skipping leg day. Believe it or not, I work my legs every single time I go to the gym. I'm just a long, lanky guy. Uh, this is actually muscle for me. But no, I'm not one of those dudes who like skips uh, legs. I work my legs actually really hard. I do total body workouts. Actually, you'll see my workout because next week I'm doing a what I eat in a day, 42-year-old man uh, version, and I give you all my meals and my workout routine. Um, so, 750 people watching. If you didn't hear earlier, all Fridays with Flaves are sponsored by Thrive Market. They've been a sponsor of the channel now for four years. It's a company I love based out of California. Everything you might get at Sprouts Farmers Market, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's is on Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper. The link in the description box right below the video has my special code to give you a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year-long membership. The box will come to your door. You guys know I love the collagen. I love their ghee. I love their taco shells. If you don't love them for some reason, big deal. Cancel the membership after 30 days. Get your membership fee back, but you keep the $20 shopping credit. So it's a total risk-free proposition. And it's so great because if you don't want to go to the grocery store, they send the box to your house. All right. Shrooms are doing their thing. Here's the order here. Shrooms cook, mushrooms go in. I got these nice uh, sweet mushrooms. I was actually looking onions. for, I'm oh, thinking, I was looking for a Vidalia onions because parum was guilting me for not using them lately, but I didn't see them today. Didn't see parum yet either. Yeah, where's parum, you Gojujang monster? Go 14 dollars from Char Troyer. Support the channel. Thank you so much, Char. Oh, Char, thank you for that. Yeah, Barbara says a lot of her favorite items have been sold out. That's because the demand on Thrive Market has gone up like, literally 100, 300 um, percent, but just be patient, they'll come back. I'm waiting for the pasture-raised pork. I know you can get uh, some of the ghee, uh, the collagen, some uh, 
bone broth, but use my uh, promo code to maybe start off with some ghee. But as soon as that $99 box of pasture-raised pork is in stock with the bacon, the pork chops, the pork shoulder, scoop that. It's the best deal ever. Okay, so onion. It's very hard to, to cut down here, but let's go to cutting school art. Cutting school is we perch our fingers on top. You know, it's very hard to, to grip this. Wow. And we just make planks across the bottom. I wish these tables were higher because it's not very comfortable to cook. Well crouching over, but eating, bending over on your stomach is not very pleasurable either. The next house, you guys, the next house will have the, the phenomenal gas grill, the Traeger wood pellet grill, the smoker, a beautiful table. Does anyone, has anyone ever had like a, a rotisserie, like a spit rotisserie in their backyard? I think that might be kind of fun. You know, like people always put these like fire pits in their backyard, but they're so lame. They're like these things from Costco with a fake flame. I want like a rustic spit with wood. I can put a cochinita pibil on there and cook it all day. I think that'd be cool. Trish has a good one. At 5 p.m. Eastern, my teens walk through the kitchen and ask, how are Bobby and Art doing? <laughs> Say to the teens, hello. I hope they have a great dinner tonight. What are you guys making for dinner, by the way? Logan's Miele oven has a rotisserie built in. Best ooh, feature ever. Oh, ooh, really? That's very cool. But I want to spit with an open flame. Bobby, what do you do for fun except cooking? So back in the day, I used to play a lot of beach volleyball. I don't have time for that now. Back in the day, I used to play a lot of golf, but I gave it up because it took like four hours of my day. To be honest, <laughs> all I really do is cook it and clean. All I do is cook, 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 no matter what. For fun, I go for walks with Desi and Rose, and I work out. Working out for me is fun. I swear, all I do, Monday through Sunday, work in the kitchen, go to the grocery store, and work out. That's it. Um, totally, and I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's funny, because before I did this, I used to be a stock and options trader, and I used to have so much more free time. I've never been busier in my life. If we're not making videos, we're editing videos, we're taking food photography, we're working on the cookbook, we're working on the Bobby Approved app, we're updating the blog, we're doing social posts. I work seven days a week. I try to work a little less on the weekends, but I've never worked more in my life, but I love every minute of it. It's so rewarding. So this is my fun, to be honest. When I'm not creating, I'm not having fun. So that's a good question. What's going on, Chandra? I'm doing well. Let's see Thanks here. What do you watch on TV? That's a good question, Christine. So every night we try to watch one show from like 8.30 to 9.30 and then go to bed at 10. Um, we just started watching because a fan emailed me The Last Tango in Halifax. Uh, it's kind of a cute story. Uh, we just finished the uh, second season of Hana on Amazon. We really enjoy like stuff like, uh, what else? Uh, like uh, Mrs. Maisel. I like shows and I need more show recommendations of things that aren't violent, don't involve zombies, missing kids and like murder. We love stand-up comedy, we love it. I thought Jim Gaffigan was supposed to have a new stand-up special on Amazon and I can't find it. Does anyone know what's going on? What's up, Alan Girl? Alan yes, Girl's Yellowstone. Where can I watch Yellowstone for free? Because I wanted to get season one and I could only watch season three on my YouTube uh, TV subscription. I do want to watch that with Kevin Costner, thank you. Look into Santa Maria Grill with a rotisserie. Oh, oh, Santa Maria, the adjustable, the adjustable grills. I went to that Santa Maria Grill Steakhouse in uh, um, the wine country outside of LA. What's that called? Uh, Santa Barbara. It was really cool. Stangman says that today is oil day. All day? 710. Oil upside down, like on the calculator, if you type uh, that. Oh, Stangman knows everything. Oil. 420, all that stuff. There's another day that you can do the calculator. <laughs> I wonder when that is. Let's see. Uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Okay, good. Watch Encore on Disney+. Plus. I should probably watch The Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. I've never seen Hamilton in my life. Maybe I'll download uh, Disney+. Plus. Call the Midwife. Okay, good to know. Look into Weber Pellet Grill. Well, do you think a Weber Pellet Grill would be better or like a, like a uh, Traeger Pellet Grill? So guys, welcome if you're just joining. Oh, by the way, share. There's a link below the video. Share the link over to Instagram stories or Facebook wall. Say, hey, Flav City and Art are hanging out, having a good time. Look at these steaks here, you guys. In case you didn't hear earlier, these are grass-fed Tasmanian steaks from a Flav City fan who started a beautiful company called Shepherd Meats. Heavy salt and pepper, we let them sit for a while, we'll fire them on the grill. We're making risotto. 
but I don't eat white rice. To me, white rice is dead food. There's no nutrition. Instead, this is one of my favorite products. It's Rizoni made with organic chickpea and lentil flour rice. Very nutrient dense. Actually, one of the recipes in the five ingredient cookbook is a um, Primavera risotto using this, uh, a mirepoix, a little bit of bone broth and uh, cheese. Fantastic, because we're gonna cook the risotto in the wild mushrooms and the bone broth. I can't say enough good things about bone broth. We don't have any fresh because we didn't make it this week. So I love kettle on fire. Bone broth, my friends, is something you should probably drink four to five days a week. It's great for your immune system, but more importantly, it's great for your gut. It fosters your microbiome. It's great for your hair, skin, teeth, gut, nails, and your joints. As you get older, your joints start to wear away. This stuff is a great supplement. I can't get over how important this stuff is. It is pricey to make it, which is why I recommend making uh, my homemade version, which is, is a safe story over on uh, Flav City Instagram. And we'll have a five ingredient homemade version in the cookbook because at least half a dozen recipes, I'd say six or seven recipes in the cookbook call for bone broth. Because when you only have five ingredients, like the cookbook is a five ingredient cookbook, you better make each ingredient count. And this will literally change the game of a recipe. Viviana, the IG OG is in the house. Viviana with another great story today. Victoria is in the house. Vic in the house. Okay, so my mushrooms caramelized. Auntie, Auntie Kuhn is in the house. Oh, Auntie Kuhn sent me a package today. Thank you, Auntie. With Bubby's relish from a small grocer in California called was it Mother's Nature. Because I said in my condiments review last weekend that I can't find Bubby's relish they sent me two bottles of it. Thank you for that, that was so sweet. Now I get to have the best in class Bobby approved, no natural flavor, uh, relish thing to Auntie. Oh, Auntie, are you from uh, Denmark or where we think? Art? Germany. Germany. So now a little bit of salt. We're also wondering about the pronunciation name Antje, I thought. But yeah, can I you do the phonetic know. pronunciation for us? Thank you for that. I don't have your email, I was gonna email you today, so I'm glad you uh, popped on here. So we got some nice color. Look at the color on this one, Art. Ooh, that's gonna taste like a steak. Uh, let's see. Auntie that one right there. No rose moving around glasses, peppermint ingredients. She's taking a nap right now. She's taking a nap. She'll be, she'll be out here soon, but not while I have the burner right here. Okay, now I gotta chop up some garlic. Or broccoli. Or broccoli if I had to chop up broccoli. So wild mushrooms, onions, garlic, toast the risoni, add the bone broth, finish it with peas, cheese, and parsley, done. Breathing Nerdum just gave a $2 super chat. Elbow bumps to my homies, Bobby and Arte. Thank you, homie. Thank no you, fist sir. bumps right now. We'll do elbow bumps. We'll do elbow bumps. Sounds good. Yeah, and because Rose is sleeping, Art and I had to carry everything in three trips, out the front door, around the back, here, because we couldn't disturb the young Mrs. Rose. But she should be up, I'm guessing, any minute, if she's not up right now. I'm surprised my blabbering mouth hasn't woke her up. So this morning I went to Whole Foods and I did a, uh, a mini haul to get the ingredients to make uh, a video next week for the grilled shrimp we made last night with that blistered corn salad and dewy sausage we made on 4th of July. I filmed the haul myself, I came back, then Art and I made a quick video about four summer hacks to extend fresh berries, vegetables, and herbs. And then we cracked on the live stream. Always, always working around here. This is a great question from Michael Kobitka. You're from Chicago, if I remember correctly, aren't you? How well does your freezer do staying outside? So far, so good. It's great. It's good up to 101 degrees. It was probably the best purchase I've made this year, and I bought it with Art at Costco before Corona happened. And thank God I did, because I keep it loaded with a ton of stuff from Shepherd Meat. I'm officially out of uh, all of the uh, pasture-raised pork from Thrive Market. Um, but I have... Uh, what else do I have in there? Mm, I could open up later on. I have I have a lot of stuff in there. Danielle Blanchard's got a good question. Yes. For us non-cook morons, don't call yourself that, did you say to toast the risoni dry before adding to the mixture no. with broth? Great question. No, I'll toast it in the fat in a second because that adds more flavor. Toasted food, brown food tastes better. Sherry Howe watching from MG, welcome. And Bebop Cowboy just gave $2. Bobby, do you approve creatine? Why or why not? You know what? I have to look into it. I took creatine when I was 16. My guess is not, and probably because the other ingredients they add to that, but I'll, I'll have to check. I'll have to check. I'm did not put, okay, too versed on that. Did you put anything in the mushroom mixture, oil, etc.? Yeah, I put a little bit of avocado oil, 
I probably would have used the Thrive Market ghee, but I forgot to bring it out. Um, and then I added the mushrooms. I caramelized them for 10 minutes. I added the uh, onions, salt, pepper. Now I'm going to add some garlic, about three or four cloves. Karen Sheen's watching from Memphis and loves you. Karen, love you. I love you guys. We have such a great community. By the way, 67 people signed up yesterday on that Google document to help watch old videos and take notes to help us with the new Bobby approved app. If you didn't hear last night, later this fall, we're coming out with a Bobby approved app that has a barcode scanner on there. So you can go to the grocery store, scan any product. It'll tell you if it's Bobby approved and why or why not. But I need someone to go back and watch all my videos. So 67 people volunteered and they've already started watching the videos, taking notes of what's Bobby approved and not. Thank you for that. Um, so that'll be out. In addition to the barcode scanner, it's going to have all the information from every video on the app, easily searchable, easily consumable. It's going to be the best shopping companion, I think, on the market. Imagine the Weight Watchers app, but actually way more functional. Coming out probably in September will be the Flav City Immune Tea Powder, my famous turmeric immune system boosting tea in a portable, organic, non-GMO, best in class, no filler, all thriller uh, pouch, powder. It's going to be amazing. The cookbook, we have to finish all the manuscript in the next month. That'll come out on January, uh, December 1st. We're rocking and rolling. Isn't this fun, you guys? It's so fun to be alive and share this with you guys. And I couldn't do this without you guys. And we're having a good time. Tracy Tavito wants to know if it's too late to sign up to help. Um, yeah, right now I think we have enough people. But if we need more, I'll let you know on a live stream. And I'll open it to you all in a heartbeat. But uh, like Maddie Chopsky, Jill's daughter, helped us out the second we gave her the videos last night. A bunch of other people did too. But my guess is... We'll need more help. And then once the app is ready for beta testing, I'll need you guys um, to download the app for free. I'll give it to you, of course, and go to the grocery store and scan as much stuff as you can to make sure it works. Because if anything doesn't pop up in the database, it'll ask you to take a picture and then I'll review everything manually. I have to review everything if it's going to be a Bobby approved. But the goal is to get everything good in the grocery store. So when someone scans something, it doesn't come up empty. I don't care about garbage products like Duncan, Heinz, Betty Crocker, and Hershey. I care about stuff you'd find at like Sprouts and Whole Foods, but I will need your help, so stay tuned for that in the future. Victoria's cooking a Chuck Roast from Thrive Market tonight. Do you have a video for Chuck Roast? You know what? I don't. Are you cooking it whole or are you doing like a Chuck Roast uh, chili? Um, I don't. I'd say low and slow or pressure cook it. All right, check it out. Uh, Vincent, Vincent just gave $2. I don't Vince. want to miss his, his Vincent. Like I did yesterday. What's, what's up, guys, watching from Tulsa today? Where's that? There it is. Hey, what's up, Vincent? So guys, the Rizzoni goes in. In case you don't know what that is, once again, it's an exclusive Trader Joe's product. It's organic lentils and chickpea rice. This is a very important process. I'm actually toasting it. So my friend asked me earlier, what do you mean? You toast it in the fat. And that actually adds more flavor to the grain. Ch uh, cooking the chuck roast whole. Okay. Um, you know what? I've actually never done that. You probably want to go low and slow with a cooking liquid and some vegetables or pressure cook it in the Instant Pot for about probably an hour. But yeah, so Thrive Market does have some good beef right now. I love their pork and now they have pasture raised chicken, but they're out of the pork. So if you're going to get the pork, wait till it comes back in stock. Um, if you're going to get the ghee and the collagen like this, you can have those as pantry staples. But once again, uh, use my link down below for the $20 shopping credit. And as soon as you see that pork there, first of all, let me know and then grab it. It's the best pork because normally pork is factory farmed, GMO grain fed at the store. This is non-GMO pasture raised free to forage. The pigs have a supplemental feed of peanuts and pasture raised eggs. It's unlike anything you've ever had at the grocery store. And we just love everything about Thrive Market. Great supporter of the channel. So support them, support the channel by trying them out using the link down below. It's a risk-free trial. So this is toasting. I'm actually gonna use some of my uh, wine to deglaze the bottom of the pan. So deglazing does a couple of things. It actually gets the sticky bits off the bottom of the pan, but it'll infuse the flavor of the keto rosé. Keto, don't you love that? I keep getting uh, messages from people who've tried the keto rosé with no uh, sugar or chemicals. It's the best. Okay, and then I'm going to crack open the bone broth here. This will be our cooking liquid. Typically, you add it to the risotto warm, right, Art? Yes. But 
I don't think it's going to really matter that much. It's not cold. But first, what I want to do is deglaze the bottom of the pan with a little rosé. The rest for me. I still have the promo code for discounted shipping on yesterday's live stream for the wine. You've never had a keto wine that delicious that won't give you a headache. Rosé all day. Now look what happened to the pan art. Look, it's clean as a whistle. It just did my and Art's job. It cleaned the pan for me. Pork, peanuts, pasteurized, bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica. What is that, Alan? <laughs> I don't know what she means. Milwaukee Brewer, is there a reason, is there why reason you don't cook, you don't cook eggs, eggs in cast, cast iron? iron I never run into cleanup issues. Well, if you have a really well-seasoned cast iron pan, they won't stick. Otherwise, they will. I don't want sticky eggs. So if you can get away with it, go for it. But I think most people's pans aren't seasoned enough to do that. Victoria Wickoff, $5. Vic! Thanks for all your cooking ideas. Love the Seco wine. We drank it too fast. Need more. Cheers. <laughs> hey, this is an easy fix for that. Such a cool company. It's a guy based in San Diego who partnered with a guy named Luca in Tuscany. This guy, Luca, knows everything about wine. Everything comes from his estate. Zero chemicals, zero sugar added to the fermentation process. Clean as a whistle. And it's like $22 a bottle, which for clean keto organic wine is a really good deal. Hey, Victoria, if you follow me on Instagram, I don't know if you do, uh, send me a message. I want to I want to find out what uh, Roger Waters concert I'm supposed to watch. Okay, check it out. I get the right one. Cooking liquid goes in. At Arthur Almacy, one word. I'm going to turn the heat Here down Thanks. just a little bit. I can't even see if it's still on. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. It's still on. And now we cook the risotto style. What does that mean? Well, it means adding just enough liquid to kind of coat the bottom of the pan and stirring. You don't have to stir as much as you think. The goal is just to add enough liquid to coat, let it cook down and add more. That way the starch slowly releases and you get that beautiful creamy risotto. Alan Girl is referring to the office, Dwight Schrute. I saw the beets and I wonder if it was Schrute Farms ah, yeah. Beets. Ah. Uh, Vincent, two uh, $10. Vince. Bobby, left my copy of your recipes in my last rig job. Uh, Got to get another copy on this new job because now I'll have the home time every month or so to experiment with your cookbook. Hey, that sounds like a positive side effect. Chat. Thank you for that, my friend. And then my girl, Rachie, just came through, huh? Oh, Victoria, it's at Arthur Alms. Rachie says, I've been drinking a lot more green tea and started this week adding uh, Thrive Market collagen peptides to it. I love it. Thanks for the great idea. What's the update on the olive oil? Olive oil is not going to happen uh, because uh, I was going to do an olive oil venture with these guys. It's too limited. It's too expensive. It's too hard to produce it. Not going to happen, unfortunately. At um, yes. Add a scoop of this. So collagen. Collagen here, collagen there. Add a scoop of this to your organic loose leaf green tea. I only drink organic loose leaf because loose leaf is the most superior tea leaf. Organic is a must because tea farming is very dirty. And then I add a scoop of collagen. It's the best way to start the day and get your collagen fix. Amazing stuff. Rachie in San Quentin. So look, the pan's a little dry. Add a little more Brodo. And now I'm going to fire up the grill, too. Time to fire it up, Art. Fire up the gazpacho. Is Rose still sleeping? That would be very That'd surprising. Be unprecedented. Let's see here. Everything's still closed here. I can't see. It's closed. Okay, I'm going to fire up the grill. Got a thousand people watching right now with 185 likes. I think it's a good time to hit that like button. Yeah, like, share. share. Let's see if we can hit uh, 1,500 people tonight. Yeah, Art, go softy style, say hi, and tell people how they can share. Wait, we have a super chat that I got to read here. Okay, go for it. Christina Tilden, $5. Thanks for all the great information. My husband and I started our clean eating journey at the beginning of 2020, and we have never felt better. Well, Christina, Christina, we I love it. You. It's never too late, Christina. Good job. So anyways, time to share, folks. Take that link. Put it on your uh, social media platforms, dating apps, Tinder, Hinge, Christian Mingle, <laughs> Farmers Only, anything else. Uh, anything else. Just get it out there. That's Spread right. Spread the word. Uh, uh, Arthur, my full name. Now it's the time of the show. Almacy. Where we stretch. -A -A That's right. The third. At Arthur Almacy is the handle. Okay. We got to do some stretching now. Sitting in that position is a little really tight. We gotta do some stretching. Get the core extended here. All right, keep your legs straight. Look at that flexibility after sitting like that. Uh, then I like to hit my my kidneys. Get some energy going there, a little qigong. Okay, grill's warming up. We're having a good time. 
See, it's already getting a little starchy here. See that? That's what you want, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Why would you wanna put white rice in there? So here's the problem with white rice. A lot of rice, unless it's grown in California, is high in arsenic. But what is white rice? Have you actually thought about what it is? Thanks, Alan, very much it's easier that way. It's brown rice that has had the fiber, the hull, and the bran taken away. That's where all the nutrition is. So you're not getting any nutrition when you're eating white rice. Brown rice would be better, but this is, this is legumes. This is pure protein and fiber. This is good for you. If you're gonna eat carbs, these are the kind of carbs you wanna eat in my humble opine. Yeah, uh, Viviana, yes. If you do have your MySpace, please put it up there. And <laughs> maybe you can even share it with Tom. Was that his name, the guy? That was. Like, hey, good for him. He sold it for half a billion dollars, or $250 million, and then it collapsed. And MySpace then after, was so awesome back in the day. It was, and he was a very smart. And then I think someone tried to buy uh, Facebook for a billion dollars, and he said no. Now they're worth like $690 billion. So Zuckerberg made a good choice. Actually, I sold all of my Facebook stock this week because I don't feel confident about this whole tide turning against Facebook and the ad boycotts and regulation. I've owned Facebook since the day they came public. I sold it all this week. I don't feel good about uh, that stock anymore. People are very negative about it. Okay, so steaks are still salting. See what happened here? Tom never changed his pick. The salt brought some moisture to the surface. It's dissolving the salt and it's going back into the steak. So it's kind of like seasoning deeper in the meat, right, Art? Almost sounds like the way a spider eats something. <laughs> nice. Uh, that was kind of gross. I hashtag Vivi. <laughs> what about the lectins in brown rice? Uh, yeah, so ideally for lectins, you have to pressure cook them or soak them. Dr. Gundry is all about lectins. I believe in lectins being anti-nutrients. So if you want to eat beans or rice, you have to soak them or pressure cook them to the remove the anti-nutrient known as uh, lectins. Alan Girl, I was applauding you writing it out there. It's much easier that way than me trying to spell it out for everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Breathing Nerdum has a lot of stock in Home Depot. It's been a great stock, especially Antoinette with the uh, stay-at-home train. Antoinette! $9.99. Hi, Bobby and Desi, Rose and Art. I finally got my first order from Thrive Market. I can't wait to use my ghee. Smart. OMG. Smart. I didn't bring it out here, but the Thrive Market grass-fed organic ghee is the best deal and the best tasting ghee you will ever, ever taste. I say OMG, OMG about it. That's what Art and I say. All right? Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Is Johnny coming over for dinner tonight? No, Asks, uh, Johnny Harry will Howe. be out here on Sunday, I think. What kind of salt did you use? I used Celtic sea salt. You can find it on, uh, on Thrive Market. This is unrefined salt from Brittany, France, meaning it has up to 50, 60 natural minerals in here that makes it tastier and won't spike your blood uh, pressure as much. A lot of people just don't realize that traditional like Morton's kosher salt or iodized table salt is bleached, processed, and refined and has anti-caking agents in there. The problem with that, not only is it straight up sodium chloride, which has like a very salty flavor, it spikes your blood pressure more. When you have an unrefined salt like pink salt, Celtic sea salt, it has all those minerals. So it gives it a nuanced flavor, but it doesn't spike your blood pressure as much. And if you're worried about iodine, it's not worth eating crappy salt just to have iodine. Get like um, those Dr. Lugol's iodine drops as a supplement or eat uh, iodine rich food like salmon and uh, seaweed. Don't eat iodized table salt just for the iodine. There's a shirt idea from Breathing Nerd. Ooh. Uh, it says, well, gee whiz. <laughs> That's good. I actually got the updated uh, artwork for the Flav City t shirts that I'm collaborating with a company for. Uh, one of them is ghee. I don't love it yet, but the other one is, it looks really good. High class, low carb with an avocado wearing a monocle. They still have to work on the OMG one. And then uh, they give us art the, uh, the artwork for We Are the Champions. Nice. But I didn't really love it, to be honest. Oh. I didn't love it. Uh, Patricia, of that one. Patricia is recommending that you stir the outside of the pan. Ah, thank you, Patricia. Right, we, thanks, Victoria. Appreciate we want it. everything to be cooked equally. And this, this will take Check about 25 afterwards. minutes. You really don't want to rush it. It's all about slowly coaxing out that starch. But I'll finish this, if I can go inside, if Rose wakes up sometime soon, with Parmesan cheese and some fresh herbs. Maybe I'll go grab some basil right down there. It'd be great. Absolutely Vincent, great. Vincent says, today I'm 36 and I'm not a stranger to the area. I miss going to my gatherings, Belmont and Clark. Cannot wait until this COVID thing is over with. So today I'm 36, does that mean you just turned 36? Yeah, right. Wishing you a happy birthday or what? <laughs> 
<laughs> if it is, happy birthday. Yeah, if so, happy birthday. T Ritz ordered a ton of stuff from Thrive Market, including ghee through the 20 off link in the description box. Love to hear that. Maggie Enjoy D that says ghee. there should be an Uncle Farturo shirt, a hashtag. <laughs> Uncle Farturo I love that. Shirt. I like that. Uh, let's see, does redfish or seafood in general good for iodine? I'm from South Louisiana. We eat lots. Yeah, a lot of seafood is rich in iodine. Absolutely. But the key is not getting also seafood that's high in mercury, like big seafood, like halibut, cod, and tuna. So I'd say like salmon would be better for that, right? Okay, let me just see what's going on here. It might need a little more salt, and I just wanna check the rice to see where it's in the process. It's not done yet, I know that, but let's just see. Thanks, Maggie. I'm happy to know there's at least one sale out there. Mm. It's good. It's still raw though. I don't wanna eat raw legumes. So that's gonna keep doing its thing. I'm gonna put a little more broth. The bone broth is so good. I've been slacking a little bit in the winter. I had a cup of that every morning and I made it religiously. Now that it's warmed up, I've been a little slacking. Mm, there's a legume. Caught my tooth. I also need a bowl for the uh, tomato salad. So these are heirloom tomatoes. They're made from a seed that is very old, hence the word heirloom, but they're really funky colors and shapes and they're delicious. I'm gonna slice this up with some red onion and some cucumbers, dress it in some EVOO, salt and pepper and vinegar. It'll be a lovely little side salad. And don't let me forget, I brought some rosemary out for the steaks while I cook them. I'm just gonna put it on there. By the way, when you get fresh thyme and rosemary, check this out, Art. Wrap it up in a wet paper towel and it'll stay longer, much, uh, it'll stay fresher much, much longer and keep it in a Ziploc bag. So this, this time has actually been here, I'm not even joking you guys, for like three weeks now. You should almost put that in a video sometime. Uh, yeah, it's funny, Art, I love that idea. You might think that we just filmed that video before we started the live stream and we did. We did four quick summer hacks for your produce. So son, uh, I never actually lived in Finland. I was born here and raised I'm trying here. to crank out the videos, you guys. I'm trying times. to do three vacation. to four videos a week and two off. to three live streams just to crank it out get content out there keep growing the community all that good stuff right costco has the small all color cherry tomatoes is that the same um n no those are probably like a regular straight up tomatoes you can't really usually find heirloom cherry tomatoes um just look for the word heirloom that's where it's at Shirt idea, beef love steak. <laughs> yeah, that would be very, very niche. I love yeah, that. Sherry House says, hashtag feed art shirt. <laughs> uh, Shivana wants to know about puka tea. I th is that in a purple bottle? I think I saw the puka chai tea at Whole Foods and it was clean as a whistle. So if that's the one we're talking about, that's delicious and very, very uh, clean. That's a long time, T-H-Y-M-E. PG Jackson, their cilantro has lasted for three weeks. Wow. Hey, Bobby, any good tips for someone cooking just learning? Sorry, any good tips for someone just learning to cook? Yeah, have a really good eight inch chef's knife. Uh, go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I have three kinds of chef's knives. Have a good eight inch knife, have a cast iron pan, a nonstick pan, a good cutting board, and cook very simple recipes. That's why I'm doing the five ingredient cookbook coming up soon. That's it. It is Don't. Vincent's birthday today, so happy birthday, Happy Vincent. birthday, Vincent. Monica asked, what is the best time and temp for well-done steaks if I cook on a skillet? Unfortunately, I don't have a grill. Uh, if you do a skillet, I would probably sear it first and then transfer it to an oven until the internal temperature is 150 degrees, and then it'll carry over to 160-ish. I'm guessing in the oven that's going to be about... 14 minutes, but get one of those probe thermometers. Once again, on amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, I have all my kitchen gear and a probe thermometer is a must. Rachel Murray just uh, gave $10 and says, got to run back to work. Hopefully I will make it back before you end. Back if to not, work on a Friday family. night? Oh my ciao gosh, family. Rachie, love you. And apparently I missed a question. Is Barron's Tahini brand Bobby approved? I haven't seen that one. If you saw the video last week, I love that. Uh, uh, mighty sesame coat tahini because it's runny, loose, and pourable. Uh, here's a question about your vernacular. I'd scoop that. Is that the same as Bobby approved? Um, yes, they are one and another. Absolutely. Good question. There's I a mean, scallop. Question. Can we get a close up on that? This is looking really, really proper. All right, punch in here. Hey, ask the scallop question again. I can't find it. Sorry. Too Look many at things that. coming in. But now the pan's a little, little dry. So. 
open up a new. Special K says, I don't think I've ever seen anyone sit on a couch and make risotto and <laughs> cook for a living. That's, and, that's, oh, no, and, and Special K cooks for a living. <laughs> oh, really? That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I'm called the... Uh, the lazy chef. I was going to say that. The lazy chef. Yeah, the lazy chef. Who cooks risotto on an 85 degree day outside on the patio while sitting down? We do. We do. Yeah. It's just on, I have dual citizenship, but. Okay, all right, let's go over to the grill. American. Let's go over, let's get up and stretch. But I love Finland too. Ah, this part of the Flav City experience is brought to you by Beach Body Workout. Stretch and stretch. Work that core. <laughs> Sounds like an 80s aerobics yeah, it video, VHS. It, it totally did. With what's her face? Who was the 80s like aerobics VHS guru? VHS. Was Suzanne it, Summers? Uh, was, uh, yeah, she might be. I think what's her name did. Uh, I don't know if I want, I don't want to mention her name. I think there's somebody else. All right, check it out, Art. I'm going to clean my grill here. Make sure your feet are out of the way. I'm going to sear it and then move it to the indirect side of the grill which is the cooler side. And then the whole time I'm doing this, I'm gonna keep the herbs on top just to infuse the flavor. So let's, I think this is the hot zone. I finally figured out if I have a hot zone on my grill, it's that. You so guys got it. <laughs> here's what I wanna do. Put the steak there. Susan powder was another one. Steak there. Herbs there. We'll let it sear for a few minutes. Push sweating, it down. Sweating to the oldies with Richard. Oh Sines. God, <laughs> that was barbaric. Denise Austin. That's also another one. Wet those down, right? Fire, fire. This stuff spraying me now. Okay, did it get you? Well, the wind was blowing. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go sit down again. It's uh, real We still got sleeping. a uh, super chat here. Four ninety nine from Tyler. Tyler, so oh Tyler, I there he is. I've been watching your live streams. We I've missed been you, dude. So many video conferences lately. Sorry, guys. Dude, Hope Tyler, everyone's well. Priorities. Flav City live streams over Zoom conference calls that are boring. Thank you for that super chat. And Velvet, Velvet. Deer, ten dollars Canadian, number one. Number fan. one. Thank you, Velvet. I gotta get to Canada again. I haven't been there in probably nine years. Desi and I went to Montreal. Had a blast. Did Jack a day trip Lane. to Quebec City. But I want to go to. Uh, Toronto and really explore the food scene. And now that we have Flav City fans all over the world, I love the idea of going to a city and having you guys meet me up, meet up with me, and then showing us around to the only places that insiders go. That'd be so cool. We'll make a video out of it. It'd be amazing. So this is really expanding in uh, size. Check it out, Art. It's really more than doubled in size, which is what you want. This is enough to feed three people yeah. easily. 1,100 people watching right nice. now. Nice. So guys, if you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Take the link, share it, invite your friends over from Instagram uh, stories, Facebook uh, wall, all that good stuff. I'm drinking some keto wine, whatever you're drinking today. Water, lemonade, S, keto wine, moonshine, whatever it is. Cheers to you. I opened a can of worms with the 80s VHS aerobics. <laughs> Everyone's going wow. to everything 80s now. Jackie, have Jackie. Spiegel, 1999. Love Thrive Market. Love Thrive Thanks Market. You, Bobby. I only try to bring you guys the best stuff. Thrive Market, Laird Superfood, stuff like that. I get hit up for sponsorships, just so you know, on a daily basis. I say no to 98% of them. I only say yes to people like Thrive Market, Laird Superfood, Four Sigmatic, people like that. Thrive Market is not only great because they support my channel, but they give you guys an opportunity to order top-notch keto, paleo, organic produce or uh, uh, grocery items for cheaper than the grocery store. They're nice enough to give us the promo link down below, and it's a money-back guarantee if you don't like it, and you get the $20 shopping credit. It's great. It's just so crazy because, guys, I've been doing this for eight years now. In the beginning, no one watched my videos. No one wants to sponsor videos. And I didn't care. I had another job trading stock options. I just wanted to make videos. But then after doing it for a good four or five years, it started to take off a little bit. And I turned this into a business. And now it's just so great because I get to share rep recipes with a big community. I get to make a great living doing it. And I get to work with partners like this. So the moral of the story is, don't do something for money. 
do something because you're passionate about it and you want to share with other people and enrich their lives. And if you do that, then the money will come, the opportunity will come, the platform will come. I never wanted to make a dollar on YouTube, but now I'm making a living out of it because I did it just to give. Uh, super chat from Dale Dorning, 499. Bobby, what do you think about the health effects of heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, when grilling meats? Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a byproduct of that. Do you want to char the crud out of your food every day? No. Is it going to hurt you that much? Probably not. Okay. But yeah, it's something to think about for sure. And a super chat from Tyler, 499, with a heart. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, we Tyler. You. You're the best. Bobby, you, I need Dave. your help. Which brand of tube tomato paste would you recommend and does it have to be organic? It should be organic because tomatoes are a uh, dirty dozen. D Slav in the house. What brand of tube tomato paste do you recommend? Yeah, so um, I usually get the Whole Foods organic one, the Trader Joe's organic one, or the Thrive Market organic one. How long was that nap? Uh, oh, okay. Can you bring out a bowl for the tomato salad, please? Glass bowl and uh, the garbage can, please. Seba Bronstein, I tried shepherd meats flat iron steak yesterday. Smaller than I expected, but well worth it. Yeah. Did not taste gaminess from the no, grass. No, the shepherd meat, meat is delicious, fantastic. Very soft steak. Yeah. There's Desi, Renee, there's your answer. And here there she is. Rose, Rose Honey Bunny. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, we missed you. We were talking about you, Rose Honey Bunny. So that's a cool thing. A Shepherd Meat, smaller company. They don't have the money to sponsor me. Big deal. A Flav City fan started. I'm more than happy to share promo codes and tell you about how they had some of the best meat I've ever tried. And they're from California. That The Flatiron Steak, either from California or from Tasmania, are amazing. Rose, we missed you. How was your nap? How was your nap, sweetie? Was it good? Yes. Oh, Rose, questions are pouring in. Questions are pouring in from Sarah and Karina. Rose, where's your tongue? Is that your tongue? <laughs> That's your tongue, yeah. Yes, it is, my love. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. She's got the bone broth. You, you already have enough collagen in your cheeks. You have enough collagen, you silly. Oh, you're so silly. What's the meat? Shepherd meats. Shepherd meats. All right, I'm going to check the steaks here. So far, so good. Rosie, you're in for a treat, Rosie Posey. Hey, Rose. Rose, Maggie has a question. Rose, where's your hair? <laughs> two for two. Two for two. We're working on a new one. Let's see. Rose, where's your butt? Where's your butt? That's your belly button. That's your belly button. Where's your butt? Huh? <laughs> You're so kooky. <laughs> How about your hand? Rose, where are your hands? That's your hands. Exactly right. Oh, Indiana you're so says sweet. her outfit is adorbs. That's all Desi. Desi only does adorbs. And Melinda Whitlock just came in with a $10 super chat. Thank you for streaming today. Love you guys. Melinda, you Thank can guarantee you. every Friday we're going to be on live. We were also live on Tuesday and Thursday. We're just having a great time. We're living life. Herbs. We're living life having a great time here. This is getting close to being done. And I'm going to season with a little more salt, but I do want to keep in mind I'm going to add some Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of cheeses. The king of cheeses. Oh, oh, no, oh Rose, that's hot, man. Come here. Come over here. Rose. Oh, super chat from Susan Corona, $10. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Art, I did say I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of cheeses. It's also known as the cheese of kings. Thank you. I can't continue until Art finishes my sentence. If I were a king, that's the cheese I'd eat. Let me see what's going on with these steaks. And here. a super chat from Tyler, $3.99. Rose is the cutest. Nice. All right, steaks got flipped. They actually have some pretty decent grill marks here. Check them gonna... over there. Ah, stay over there. It's okay. All right. I'm going to put the herbs back on top. Tanya wants to know your thoughts on intermittent fasting for weight loss. Uh, I'm a fan. I don't do it myself, but it's something I want to get into. Um, I think it's cool. So why do you want to get into it? Can you opine? Uh, because Expand. I think it's really good for energy. I think it's good for mental clarity and for focus. And if you're interested in a weight loss, I'm not. Uh, I think it's good for that too. Yeah, I think it's really... Check out my buddy Thomas DeLauer's videos on IF. It's really... Really good stuff, I think. 
So let's make this little salad. So Desi kind of made one earlier. I'll just add to that. So I got my beautiful heirloom tomatoes here. I'm gonna just rinse it off with my water. Wow. Cello style. Yeah, this is total vill the village style here. That's how we do it in the village. We brought everything out though today, aren't we? What, what are your thoughts on carb cycling for uh, weight loss? Um, to be honest, I don't exactly know what that means. But if I understand just based upon what it sounds like, I, I don't think cycling I cycle, between... I cycle between french fries, cheese yeah. balls, and pasta for my carb cycling. I'm not sure cycling between like a low and high Pizza carb diet is, is there. The I would just focus on lower carb, not high fat. We don't do a high fat keto diet. We actually do a low carb, moderate fat keto diet with paleo mixed in, which is why we're having grain risotto because we like to have stuff like that once in a while. Do you like some water? Is this your thing? Yes, it is, ma'am. So get those beautiful heirloom tomatoes in there. Look at this. From a seated position, we're making risotto, tomato salad, and grilled grass-fed Tasmanian steak. the risotto in the grill. That's right. Nah, yeah. it's too hard. That's the way to cycle on the So carbs. a little bit of maters go in there. A little Apologies salt. whoever asked the question. I don't know what carb cycling is either, but I'll go with my version of it. I got these. I love these little mini Persian cucumbers because the seeds are really, really pleasant to eat. They're not like big and bold and beautiful. Humboldt uh, Park is watching. Big Papalo, welcome. Nice, Humboldt. Guys, keep leaving comments down below if you haven't done so yet. Tyler, my thoughts on frozen food. Search Flav City frozen food. We have a number of videos. There's some next level frozen food now. Like I'm talking organic, some grass fed, some keto, uh, especially at Whole Foods. They have like grass fed frozen burgers. Um, Dr. Prager's makes some really good stuff. Even uh, Aldi has some pretty good frozen stuff. I haven't located at my Aldi yet, but they have grass-fed frozen meatballs with really good ingredients that are organic. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Careful, Rose. Very big. Furry Felines is asking if you just threw paper on the deck. Uh, paper? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. We don't have the garbage can out here yet. Do no, we? I gotta go in and get that and a few okay, other things. Okay, well, there's in a one second. drink for people. Yes, thank you. Oh, Careful, Rosie. Hot there. Hot. Careful, Rosata. That's the void. I have to go in and get the garbage. I have to go in and get the parsley, the Parmigiano Reggiano, and some vinegar to dress my salad. And it might oh, be. I gotta grab uh, Rose's uh, food also. I was gonna say, it might be a one trip kind of night, but no. Then I have to get Rose's stuff. Then I have to get uh, plates and all that good stuff. Let me see how we're doing here. Renee Denham says that scallops are $33 for two and a half pounds. Wild caught from the USA. That's a good deal for two and a half pounds. Wow. I want to thank all the guys that worked so mm -hmm. hard on the videos. Did you say that? I did already, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so here's what carb cycling is. You basically choose two days as your carb days when you have... Yeah. Uh -huh. When you have healthy, high-carb foods like potatoes, and other days of the week you eat more protein and veggies and such. Hmm. That's interesting. I probably wouldn't have white potatoes, but maybe sweet potatoes. Maybe this kind of uh, risotto. I could maybe get behind that, to be honest. Denny that way, M said uh, carb cycling didn't work well for me. It was a slippery slope to potato chips. <laughs> yes, that's the problem. If you could do it right and not have like potato chips, maybe just have like some sweet potatoes here and there. In theory, it's it's not a bad idea. But you have to stay strict. Okay. okay, I'm going to go in and get vinegar. Bing, 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 I'm bing. I'm getting bing. dripped on again. Bing, bing. I uh, see. It's uh, five o'clock. It's on a timer. Hopefully, this risotto doesn't get dripped on. Rose's food. Rose, where's Rose's fruit? In her pot in the refrigerator. Uh, okay. All right, come over here. Let's check out the steak real quick. DH, yes, Bobby does have an air fryer. Occasionally, he uses it. Oh wow, this feels Alan like Girl says no carbs left behind. I agree with that. So, steaks have some nice marks on each side. I need to get a uh, probe thermometer. It feels like they're actually almost done already. Probe. So let me, uh, let me go in, talk amongst yourself. Rose, mm. entertain everyone maybe? You know, tell them I'll be back soon, all that good stuff. Okay. We feel the same way when he walks in there. That's right. That's where your teeth are. What? Any peas in the house? Welcome. Rose, where is your tongue? <laughs> are you hungry? Are you hungry? Making lip smacking hungry. noises. 
Rose, where's your hair? Where's your hair? That's right. The garbage can's actually out here already. Ah, they're good. I want to take this temperature to make sure we're not overcooking the steak here. So check it out, Artie. <clears throat> I want it to be <clears throat> actually right around here. Wow. Thank God I brought it. 118. I would take it. I'm going to take it off. Let me double check the other one real quick. So put it right in the middle. This is why we have the probe thermometer. God forbid you overcook it. Wow, perfect. 118. I'm going to yank it because that'll carry over probably to 128. Yank it like a lawnmower. That's right. Like you're starting a lawnmower. I think that was a line. Let's take this and put it on here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn the heat off. Let me get a Jamie special Wynn. plate for this. My name is Annie. I'll be back. Oh, I'm going to bring that ghee out here. So while the steak is resting, we'll put ghee on there. Ooh, dog it. Oh, yeah. All right. Let us know your comments here in the little intermission. Questions for Rose, questions for Desi. I will try to relay the questions because they're not mic'd up. Uh, let's see. Nice medium. Hopefully medium rare, Maggie. That's my opinion. But we'll find out. Hey, Rose. Armchair Guru wants to know, where's your nose? Still working. Oh, still working on that one. You're still working on that one, okay. Oh. All right, all right, all right. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, right? We'll take the steaks, we'll put them right here, and leave the herbs on top. Rose, I got, look what I got for you, girl. I got some steak for you for dinner. Rachel Ooh, Murray. Doggy. She's back. She's back? Wow. Five dollars. Yes, I made it back in time. Just poured a cocktail. Cheers, family. I love to hear that. How's everything going in San Quentin? So check it out. Put the steaks here. That was a quick trip to uh, work, Rachie. This is what we're talking about. Make sure to scoop the Thrive Market organic grass-fed ghee with my promo link down below. This stuff is like movie theater butter. I put it right on there, and while the steak rests, it'll melt in and just keep it nice and juicy and flavorful. Can I get some tin foil for that, you think, or no? Sure. Okay. Aluminum foil would be fine. Oh, yeah, too. please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the bone right. broth. All right, more questions during the intermission. Desi's, Desi's stirring away with the risotto. Simon, you're welcome to go away. Here, Rachel or Vincent, can you uh, take this for me and cover the sticks? Rose. <laughs> Rachel. Where's your Achilles tendon? That's from Milwaukee Brewer. By Rachel, I mean Art. There we go. <laughs> Cover the steaks. Over there. <laughs> Too much going on here. I got people asking questions. Okay. All right, folks. Overload right now. Beat me to it, Art. That person is welcome to leave the chat. Yeah. Uh, all right. You gave him the Where's kind of Rose's rush. food? Yes. No. Yes. Out of here. It's all good. Head and shoulders, knees and toes song. Here we go. Jackie Haddon Spiegel. Happy Friday, Uncle Art. Happy Friday to you, Jackie Haddon Spiegel. Viviana, that ledge makes me very, very nervous. I consider myself a klutz, and I can just... I'm calling it now. On a future live stream, I'm going to accidentally. And it's an accident. Even though I'm predicting it now, it's totally accidental. I'm going to knock that Where's Rose's over food? Is it in the refrigerator? It's going to be the end of it. Oh, it's in the fridge. It's not Is it in a, a pot? Yeah. So I'll put the pot it's on the grill to warm up, or what? That. Oh, okay. In a tiny spot. Tiny spot. i got to fire the grill back up for Rose to warm her... Uh... What's Rose's favorite toy right now, asks NEP. Oh, good question, Annie. I'll go a little closer for the mic. Uh, let's see. She likes opening and closing things. She likes to open and close things. Like containers or boxes. Dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. a long dishwasher. She loves books. Any kind of book she loves. And well, we got London watching, France watching. 
she likes purses, like opening purses and taking things out of there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Let's see what else we got here. Well, thank you, Ed. Appreciate it. Rose. There the feet are. Keely stand up right there. She knows. What's that? Yeah, work on the Achilles tendon for next week. Yeah. It'll be Milwaukee Brewer will be very happy if you Okay. Make that happen. Rose's food's on. Oh, am I excited about Cam Newton on the Patriots? I I didn't really think too much about it. I am gonna sneak down there, Rose. The Bears get, are my team, so I don't really follow basil. the Patriots a whole lot. I think it's gonna be nice to finish the risotto with parsley, which I have. And then a little bit of basil. We have the uh, purple too. Thai basil. I'll go with the uh, classic. Yeah, there is plenty of food in the freezer, Green but basil. it's just the effort of going through a live stream, me knocking and spoiling all the food and having to redo it. That's just not going to go over well. But okay. I think for those watching at home, it's going to be really funny. Let's check that risotto, by the way. Let's see. Maybe you guys can let me know. Was Bobby singing at all when he went inside? <laughs> no, I was asking you guys uh, to ask Desi uh, where Rose's food was. Oh, I don't think you're gonna do that. Let's see. Uh, DH. Just I'll don't go add any more than that. No. Coke versus Spindrift. I'll go Coke. It's a little crunchy. I drink a lot of water. I drink more water done. than I drink Spindrift. So mm -hmm. if I had to choose. Wow, this is good. So it's undersalted a little bit. But first of all, look in the pan art. I mean, this is goodness. This is really good. Look, look at the difference of now versus 25 minutes ago. The pan's three times the size. Look how creamy that is. How beautiful are those mushrooms, sweetie? Careful, though, man. You know, very hot. Gorgeous. You like those mushrooms, Desso? I love it, man. Dallas, Texas delicious. in the house. So I'm just going to cook this another minute Listen, until that I mean, almost one. evaporates. Here, but see the, thanks for watching, see the consistency, the viscosity of that? It's a little creamy. Yeah. It's not just pure liquid. Then we'll put a ton of Parmesan in there. Let me go next to Desi uh, and shop the... Uh, Karen Griswold wants to know if you can sub almond flour one-to-one -one with white flour, for white flour. No, unfortunately not. It's completely different, Karen. It's good for breading, but uh, not for uh, subbing one-to-one. -one. So here's what I want to do. Let's chop some basil. I would only hope it would be on the Instagram if I'd knocked over the food. I said, you ever heard the expression, too many cooks in like the kitchen? Sure the this is like, moment, too many people on a couch. I'll turn my embarrassment <laughs> oh, I want to get the vinegar humor. for that. No, it's Darn all right. <laughs> oh, because um, why it? tomatoes are acidic. <laughs> no, Desi makes these tomato salads with cucumber and red onion. And I'm like, babe, it needs vinegar. No, they're acidic. Tomatoes are acidic. Can someone please settle debate? Do we think we need a little shot of vinegar in our tomato salad? Or can we rely on the natural acidity of the tomatoes? Yeah, traditionally we put vinegar in Bulgaria, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think I might have to go in again. Ah, it's just water, big deal. Cool. And the Parmesan spill. Sorry, it's okay. It would not be intentional, I guarantee you that. Okay. I dropped the. Uh, yeah, see, everyone says vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. I'll go in and get the red wine vinegar. Okay. Okay, we'll just rip off a little bit of parsley here to make Hilda happy, right, Art? Yes, right. What is Rose's favorite vegetable? Hmm. Meat, no does meat count? count? Does meat count for uh, vegetable? Yeah, she likes sweet, <laughs> sweet potatoes, squashes. Um, she likes spinach. I mean, any. I, I make her a lot of vegetable stuff. Like typically for lunch, she usually only has veggies, like a, a veggie, um, a veggie uh, stew veggie or delight. soup. Um, what Desi made actually in that pot is so good. I can show you guys. Mm, that's done. Rose, my iPad's down. No, it's I can't. very hot, so I don't want to touch it. Oh, yeah. Well, here, use this. But don't bring it over here because we, oh, we, we have a trivet many, right over there. Too many things. Rose, can I have the iPad so I can see the comments, please? Mm, thank you, my dear. Okay, I think everything is done. Kind of came together well. There we go. Okay. Sweeto Magito. So it needs to warm? Okay. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Kill the heat on this. Here's how we're gonna finish this art. We're gonna get a beautiful snow shower of the parm. That'll add the extra salt that I need. This is why, why I, I love the microphone. I can smell that cheese from here. Isn't that crazy? 
microplaner is It smells like it's 36 month aged. <laughs> we'll add the basil and the parsley. Wow, delicious. Right? Oh, Jesse, can you actually get me that? Where'd that? Oh, I put the ghee inside. Be nice to put a spoonful of ghee. Oh, I almost forgot the peas. The peas. The cooked, the cooked, all the cooked peas go in there. Now, listen, low carb keto, no. Paleo, no, because it's a legume. But a healthy, nutrient dense version of risotto, hex to the yeah, dude. So let me see. A little bit of butter would be great. I'm tempted. Yes or no? Should I run inside and get the ghee do to spoon it. in there? Art says do They're it. They're not going to complain if they have to drink. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. And a spoonful of rolls. A spoonful Maisha of what? Waller. Oh. Okay, a little more cheese. Great comment here from Maisha Waller. Today was the first time in my 42 years of life that I actually had pasture-raised eggs. I bought my first carton today from learning from your show. Amazing. Wow. Good for you. It's never too late, sister. Never. Okay, let me go back in real quick. How was it? Did you find a difference? Taste the difference? Yeah, uh, did you taste the difference? Not sure if that came through the first time since I'm wearing the mic, so. Gracie Santos, well, we have this Rizzoni risotto and we have a couple of beautiful grass-fed strip steaks that are uh, marinating in butter after coming off of the uh, grill and we're gonna chow down and there's, there's a, a stirring uh, spoon too. Salad that's being worked on too. I gotta close the door on this baby. Hi Rosie. Here's a spoon for her. All right so here's her spoon. We'll take our ghee. Look at this. Oh, yeah. was. oh wow. Just put the whole thing. We're almost out. Gee-licious. Gee we can yeah, go all day. Gee-licious. Oh, it's, that's pretty good too. Gee-licious. Right, bottom of the barrel. Gotta reorder some more Thrive Market ghee. Ooh, too long. Sounds like you missed. <laughs> Rimming, no. Milwaukee oh. Brewer, $5. Non-organic pasture-raised eggs bug me. You'd think that 184 feet would be I the hard did. part and the supplemental feed should be easy. No, I, do, I hear you, bro. If you're going to get pasture-raised, you really want to go. Here, Rose. Denny this. M, four ninety nine. I'm getting my super chat in before I lose the connection. On the road to go camping. Hubby is driving so I can watch. Have a great weekend, everybody. Well, Denny M, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Cam, camp the heck out of it. I don't know if anyone ever says that. but Risotto? A la Camp like a champion today. Let's go Notre Dame. <laughs> How do you say uh, chickpea in, uh, in uh, Italian? Uh, Garbanz? No. Is it good, Rose? Do you like it? Any Italians on the string? Um, guys, the ghee was such a great call. Wow. Oh, I forgot the vinegar. Darn it. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. Just All right. No, yeah, no. Sure. Bobby has to go get it. <laughs> uh, well, I got it right next to me. I got you, babe. Um, the rules state that if Bobby sends a, uh, a <laughs> surrogate in to get something, it counts as Bobby going in. Rose so. is such a baby foodie. Everything we give her, she loves. She's got a sophisticated palate. Rose, you're amazing. You're amazing. We love you so much. Mwah. This is this is so good. This is the kind of food you guys want to eat. So when Desi gets back out here, we'll uh, we'll serve it up and we'll slice that steak. Grass-fed Tasmanian steak with a lentil and chickpea risotto with wild mushrooms. Can you get that at a restaurant? <clears throat> uh, would it be a hundred dollars and fifty if you got it at a restaurant? Yes, this is the way you want to roll. You guys men love uh, chickpea mm, love in you. Italian or chechi? Chechi risotto alla chechi con fungi e parmigiano reggiano. Maggie B has a little, <laughs> Maggie B put up a little glass of whiskey now that we've sent Desi in to get stuff. Good job, Maggie. Yeah. Smart, smart move. Well, letting people know that Thank you, Desi. they have obligations here. Little red wine Vinny. Just splash that in there. Okay. Done. It's all I needed, right? Barbara Joy reminded you twice 10 minutes ago to get the vinegar, I guess. That, Barb's. I got a hard head sometimes, Bobby. Okay, let's plate this up. I'm going to make some room here. Have you ever heard of Freca? Fresca? Freca. F-R-R-E-K-A-H. Uh, frica, frica. Oh, frica. Uh, right. Yes. 
Yes, uh, but it does have gluten, I believe. So not for me, but it is an ancient grain that is very nutrient dense. You just got a super chat from Maisha Waller, $10. Thank you for your services. Maisha, thank you. Watch, Appreciate watch it. Watch her because she's hungry. Okay, Rose. Watch the beast. She's hungry. Rose Honey Bunny is going to be so smart and healthy when she gets bigger, says Karen Griswold. Uh, thank you, Karen. It's very, very exciting. Stay over here with me, Rose. Here, Rose, I got a little more uh, risotto for you. Ah, look at this, Rose. A little zaddy. A little zaddy. little zaddy. Yeah, just turn the knobs. Zatti di ceci, por mi amore. Huh? My little gelato. Okay. We'll put all this to the side. Fresca is the best. Fresca. I Fresca agree. is definitely not the best. I can promise you that. No, it is. Can you also bring over that uh, garbage, if you don't mind, my love? Just want to. Make some room here for the star Actually, of the show. Susan, that's still on the call. I would rather have a Yaffa versus Fresca. That's a, my opinion. A Yaffa? As a Finnish orange soda. Ah. Places usually have that or Fresca, but I'd go Yaffa. Gotcha. Okay. Give me a rose of Art approved. Spoon. Hold me closer, tiny spoon. Here you go, my lord. Now. This is what I made for Rose this morning. Yeah. Can you explain what's in there? Because it's delicious. A little red wine. Okay. For her. So there's a um, little bit of onions, carrots, cauliflower, and zucchini, and a um, little bit of cumin, oregano, and coconut milk. And the zucchini <coughs> makes it super creamy. Okay. Definitely need some wine. Put this steak here. That's for you, Rose Art. Thank you. It for, for lunch. No, it's absolutely delicious. It's so creamy and dreamy. Okay, let me grab those steaks. Put your steak in here, Mom. Yes. You just can't drink the rosé with the steak. It doesn't seem right. Get these beautiful bifteca. Did now, the tea melt? It melt? Of course it melted. That was my uh, unnecessary question of the day. Okay. Rhetorical. So, here we go. Say. Here's the plates over here. We'll take the plate. We'll take a nice big scoop of this risotto alla fonghi de ceci. Ceci, that's right. Ceci, si signora. Look at that. Oh, yeah. No, we do not live in Canada. Suhun. Take a Kazana. big, look at that big but I've been to Canada. mushroom on there. Then, keep that away from Rose because she's a monster. <laughs> we'll take a steak here. Cut it in half. Keep her hand away from that knife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We nailed it this time. It. Last time That's we overcooked it just a little bit. This time, perfection. Ooh, we just got a super chat from Jimmy Batista, two ninety nine. Can you guys wish Jenny Alvarez a happy birthday? Uh, I think we can. Jenny, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jenny. I hope you have a great birthday weekend. Got fourteen hundred people watching on Jenny's Not birthday. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I think she smelled the meat. She's like, yeah. No more of that vegetable. She's super excited right now. We'll put the vegetable down next to it here. This is exactly how you want a strip steak. Now listen, you cook the steak, you want to cook it. If you want it to be a little more done, big deal, you do it. Now we'll take this, we'll put a little more herbs over there. We'll take our yummy Here. tomato salad where Rose is. Will you guys be moving to Colorado? I don't foresee that in our future, but I guess you never know. Rose, 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 come here, Mama. Come here so we can eat. Punch in here, Art. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Okay. Then we'll take a little more Parmigiano Reggiano. And you guys, summer grilling and chilling. Beautiful grass fed steaks with lots of herbs and ghee. Risotto with mushrooms and a tomato salad. And then I'll take a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Where is it? Here we go. A little bit of salt. On the meat, here, boom it's, goes the dynamite. It's clean your dynamite hands. Dynamite goes boom. So you can eat. Here, why don't you and Ma and the mom start eating this one? Oh. Here. Victoria's hungry and we'll be right over. Lol. As long as I have a deal, you're welcome to come over as long as you do the dishes. Okay, Rose, come over here. Want some food? Uh, Bless you. <laughs> give me one of the small ones and a fork. Here, right here. Oh, yeah. Rose, mm, come my steak is done off. Mm-hmm. Mm. That steak, Rose? Well, 
c'est magnifique. Very rare. And, okay and, oh my God, absolutely, yes. And, and Desi, an uh, important thing to keep in mind is to taste that. Maggie B is bringing it up. The flavor profile. Think ah, about the yes. flavor profile as you try it. I want to chop the judge Look. reaction Come here. here. Karen Karen Griswold says it's a little too rare for her. That's the beauty of steak. You can cook it as much as you want. However you like it. Exactly. No one's going to tell you you're doing it wrong. Well, we might, but you don't have to listen to us. <laughs> no, when people say like, oh, if you like steak past medium rare, you don't like steak. Screw that, man. You do whatever you want. Okay, let's cut one for Arthurion here. Hold on, hold on. You go for the biggest piece. Hold on. <laughs> Dishes and babysitting. Yeah, I can use both, to be honest. Here, go ahead. Your Stop French it. is horrible, by the way. Hey, sacre de bleu, mon ami, why you say that? How do you know Laura Vitale? Uh, we met in New York at a Facebook event, and uh, we just had a really good time together, and uh, we've uh, stayed uh, like friends ever since. Karen would Griswold would uh, do your dishes and clean your bathroom for a meal like that. To be honest, the bathroom is really dirty too. The, the, the shower needs to be re so that, that sounds like a good yeah. deal too. Talking services, are you including those two? Yeah, I need, I, first I need a deep He's clean. He's got more steak, he can cook. And then I, I can do caulk. We'll caulk for steak. Sounds kind of dirty. All right, Art, this is for you. <laughs> He's disgusting. A little salt there. How did you meet Desi? M-E-E-T, not M-E-A-T. <laughs> uh, we talked about that uh, during the quarantine. Long story short, we met at a Young Professionals event in 2008. I asked her to dinner or lunch the next day as a date. I asked her to my house to cook dinner the second date, and the rest was history. For the second date, I made a miso marinated black cod with braised baby bok choy, and she loved it. DJ baby bok choy? DJ baby bok choy, okay. and that was it. Shaheen's in the house. Shaheen, welcome. Hi, guys. Hope you're all well. How are we're, you, Shaheen? We're doing great, Shaheen. I hope the family's doing well and you guys are doing better. We just made this beautiful risotto. I got this gorgeous Tasmanian steak here. What, Alan girl, would I do anything but pay attention to Maggie B? I mean, or else. I don't want to fear those, suffer those consequences. Rose, how's the steak? Is it good, Rose? Is it tasty? Huh? Uh, we got a super chat from Vincent again. Two dollars. OMG, that is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Very generous. You guys are all generous with your time, with your super chats. Rose. Shaheen says, hey, Rose, darling. Ah, oh, hey, Rose, darling. Rose, darling's having a, a great time. This steak is dynosity. Oh, my God. I can't get over it. And Tyler just came in with a super chat, three ninety nine. Hope you guys are well. Tyler, you're the man. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're doing great. We're even better now. A little bit. I gotta chase that stick with red wine. G. Michelle Jr. It's right mm. there. Oh, that red keto wine with that. Ooh -wee. A little bit of this. You can give her that. A little bit. You of can this. give her this. Or you can give her that. That's a great song. Okay. Now I'm gonna hey, put a rose. Furry felines ask, where's your mommy and daddy? Mm. <laughs> All right. Let me dispose of this so there's more room to cook here. Can I sneak by you, just so? Oh, Stang Man, uh, you don't have to worry about that. I will definitely eat. What else can leave the table here? Uh, lab. Well, you're, you're a the knife. golden knife. The fan. knife you can, can leave lab the table? 6, These are both New York strip steaks. There we go. Careful, Rosie, please. Okay. Have you guys heard of No Crumbs Left dinnerware? Of what now? No it's some dinnerware left. called No Crumbs Left. Uh, it's a what? No Crumbs Left dinnerware. No, I don't know what that is. Okay. What? No Crumbs Left dinnerware. Oh. <laughs> Terry from No Crumbs yeah. Left? She has her own dinnerware line? I did not know that. Uh, okay. does, does Whole Foods, okay, so you weren't aware of that. Does Whole Foods have anything similar to that risotto? Um, the only thing they have is from Banza. It's chickpea risotto, and it's good, but it's not organic, but it's still a great substitute from rice. So Banza chickpea. So if I just, I want to take one bite of this together and then my art crush that. This plate is nutrient dense, chicken. the kind of food you want to eat. Look at this. Sangoon, I'm Art, the cameraman. Huh? So good, man. Wow. So good. Here's to feeling good all the time. 
Amazing. Steak is so perfect, seasoned well, tons of flavor. The risotto is al dente, full of flavor, full of meaty umaminess, thanks to the uh, mushroom Shaheen and those risotto. beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Made with that Trader Joe's risotto. Are gorgeous. All right, give me the camera. This is exciting, you guys. This is exciting food. No one makes this room, this kind of food at restaurants. They just don't do it. You've got to do it at home. I don't know how many calories a day I eat. I don't really count that kind of stuff. I just count the quality of the food entering my pie hole. It is gangbusters, Viviano. That's Gang nice risoni. I like it. Right? This one here. New York strip and ribeye are my two favorite cuts. Yeah. So I'm a happy camper right now. But I'm a happy camper whatever the cut is. Well said, Art. Uh, it's the Keto Wine from Seco Wine mm. Club. Delicious. I haven't heard of Miracle Mix Pancakes. Perfectly cooked. It is perfectly cooked. Rose, have you been enjoying your steak? Is it good? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is it good food? Hey, that's my girl. Desi, how's your risotto? Delicious, babe. Good. Really yummy. Love to hear that. Good Very stuff, good. right? Very good. Yeah. Jackie Haddam Spiegel, $25. Wow. Looks delicious, guys. Have a great weekend. Gotta go. Happy Friday. See y'all. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Favorite grocery store in River North? Probably the Whole Foods over there on, uh, I think it's that State or something like that. Oh, let's see here. I mean, this is just like, I mean, look at this, you guys. You just said it in Rizzoni. Beautiful. Oh. Boom goes the dynamite. What happens when you set it in risoni? Mm. I'll film it. Okay. Mm. Wipe off the risoni on your face here. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Isn't this fun, Rose? Sitting outside, having steak, eating dinner, huh? It's fun, huh? She ate her steak already. Oh, I think she, you could have more, Rose. Is this your wine art or mine? I haven't touched it yet. I think this no, is. No. I don't know which one's yeah, mine. This one's mine. That's yours? Yeah. All right, try the steaks with the wine, though. That, that's where it's at. Mm, so good. Wine is uh, No, we don't really use buckwheat very often. Very good. So if you're interested in the keto wine, go to my live stream from yesterday. I put a link in the description box. It's keto sugar-free wine. Absolutely great stuff. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, uh, check out my Thrive Market That's link onion, in the description box. Really, really good stuff. So if you go below the video right here, I can't talk about enough good things about Thrive Market. $20 shopping credit, free trial, amazing stuff from Thrive Market that I would normally get at the grocery store for cheaper. Really good stuff. Uh, Rose says mama here and there. She says, uh, good job, Deborah. She says data a lot more. Is organic red wine okay? Um, organic's good, um, but they still could add sugar to the fermentation process and they still can use chemicals, just organic approved chemicals. You really wanna have zero, zero chemicals at all. All right, have you cooked anything at home that Bobby uh, normally makes here? I just did uh, one of his chicken thigh recipes the other day. That's one of my go-tos. Yeah, I love to make the, oven. Ba the oven baked ones, Yeah, right? put it on a rack in the oven, so easy and so delicious. Uh-huh. You don't need to mess with it. No. The, all of them were good, though. The pan-fried oh, one, that was good. Or the uh, cast iron. Oh, yeah, the cast iron. Crispy uh, skin, but yep. so easy to do the other one. Totally agreed. So, all right, guys, that's it. Another great live stream, another great week. Three live streams. We've done two videos so far this week, two more coming this weekend. I mean, Fun, fun times. Tomorrow's video is like an under the radar food finds that you might now know about. Uh, Sunday is a uh, mini Whole Foods haul with recipes, summer recipes. Great time. Rose, say goodbye to everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Desi, say nice. bye everyone. Art, say bye goodbye everyone. everyone. Bye everyone. Awesome time hanging out. Uh, we'll see you again next week with more live streams, all that good stuff. We got so much awesome stuff coming your way. Mad love, peace, awesome time hanging out. I'll leave you with one more glance at that. All right, actually, let's end this stream. You eating the steak and doing the 
the um, matrix line. Everyone, um, but, this is. But can it happen when you're not eating a fillet? Eh, it's good that enough. That's a fillet. That's good enough. It's not gonna be an exact quote because I haven't done that line in a while. You know, when I eat this steak, the matrix is telling me that it's juicy and it's flavorful. And you know what I've learned after all these years? Ignorance is bliss. 